Today I want to take a look at how to execute runbooks on a schedule more frequent than one hour. Now, runbooks are PowerShell code hosted in Azure Automation Accounts where we can create background scheduled jobs and they're very helpful for a lot of different admin workloads. When you come into your Azure Automation Account, you have your list of runbooks. You also have a list of schedules. Now for the schedules portion, there is a way to add a new schedule and you'll notice that the recurring minimum increment is one hour. So what happens if we wanted to schedule something five minutes, 10 minutes, more frequent than an hour? This particular interface, not really gonna help us. What we can do though, is rely on logic apps. So if you come over to create a new resource in Azure, and you locate this guy, Logic App, which has the three blocks with the green squares. We'll go ahead and pick out that one with the Logic App green squares. We'll create a new Logic App, and we'll give it the same resource group and setting. So here I've selected the same resource group as our automation account, and I've provided a Logic App name. Now, for my purposes, LA is Logic App, so that's the suffix I want to use on my naming convention, and I've matched the region to be the same as what the automation account has. So really just matching with the automation account, but giving it Logic App for the suffix. Now down here on plan, there's a couple of different choices. Standard is for enterprise level. This is really gonna be high performance where you have dedicated capacity and you're gonna pick out CPUs and memory and have a, a machine instance essentially hosted in the background just for these logic apps. What I'm doing is a little bit more variable. So here we're gonna go ahead and pick out consumption, entry level, pay only for Pay only as much as your workflow runs. So this is more of the serverless model, the on-demand model. I like consumption for which type of plan to select. And then we'll go ahead and click review and create. So we given our logic app a name. We picked out our settings. We'll go ahead and click create to generate the logic app. And we have our success message that the resource has been deployed. And we can go ahead and click go to resource. And here we're brought into an educational welcome screen about what Logic Apps can do. There's all sorts of templates. And for anyone familiar with Microsoft Flow, Power Automate, this is really the same sort of technology. This is what Power Automate uh, runs on top of. So Logic Apps give you all of that power with even more flexibility. For today's purposes with the Azure Runbook, we're gonna select this guy, blank Logic App and kind of make one from, uh, from scratch. Now we're gonna use a scheduled trigger and then we're going to execute a run book. So here typing in the word schedule for choose an operation, we're gonna select the very first blue square icon for a recurring schedule. And this is where we get that granularity. Going beyond hourly and daily, we can now do minutes and seconds. And this is exactly what we were trying to accomplish earlier. So if we set up a five minute interval, that can be our recurring schedule. And the action we execute, we'll go ahead and type in automation. And here we see Azure Automation is one of our search results. We'll go ahead and click on that. And we have the ability to create a job. And creating a job is really the same as executing a runbook. So here we can name this like start run book, authentication type, okay, tenant ID, let's do sign in. So we'll kind of go with the defaults. We will get a login flow that'll ask us to authenticate to the tenant. And for this screen, I do need to provide the tenant ID number. So if I come into Azure Active Directory, I can copy the tenant ID number here just by searching Azure Active Directory, bring that over. Now that I've applied the tenant number, I can go ahead and give it the sign in button. So we've provided the tenant number, now we're ready to click sign in. Clicking sign in will give a pop-up window with our OAuth authentication flow. 
we'll go and select our user account. We see the dots moving across the screen. This is authenticating our connection. And so to create a job, we want to pick out a subscription. We want to pick out our resource group and our automation. So here we have our automation account. Wait for job. We can set that to no. That's right. Next on the configuration for the create job step, we need to provide the runbook name. Now that's considered by logic apps to be a parameter. So after giving it the high level configuration for the automation account, which is the subscription resource group and automation account, the first four, we can open up the add new parameter and provide the runbook name. And why this is not displayed by default, I have no idea, but we need to give it a runbook name and by choosing that parameter, it now shows what's available inside the automation account. This is a populated dropdown that knows about the configurations. So if we apply the runbook name and click save, we now have created a way to schedule runbooks to run every five minutes and go beyond what the schedule options are in automation account, being limited to one hour as the fastest schedule. We can go faster than that and execute runbooks uh, every few minutes by using a logic app to invoke the runbook.